my lovelies welcome back to my channel for those of you guys that are new welcome my name is pinky and teaching you witchcraft and tarot is what i do for those of you guys returning welcome back my loves don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you guys can get notified of the most recent videos going up let's get into it this spell is for those of you guys that have been requesting on instagram any type of spell work that can help you reveal if people are sending things to you or if you're carrying a lot of bad juju, this is going to take care of it. Now, what you're going to need is very simplistic. You probably have these ingredients at home. The purification of this process is extremely powerful. It will cleanse you. And it also serves as a road opener. Um, so if you've been experiencing a lot of roadblocks, a lot of difficulty, a lot of resistance in any aspect of your life, you can do this. We do this to reveal if people are sending any type of witchery our way, or if we are being influenced by work that is being done against our will, this is going to reveal to you not only that, but it serves as a fire back, meaning do not be surprised if you start to hear about people around you or family members or people that just, you know, you don't necessarily get along with very well. Uh, start to experience difficulties in their life or health issues. And the reason for that is because it serves as a lifting to remove that energy or whatever it is that's being sent your way. And because it reveals to you, it will show you the junk that you're carrying that is being extracted from your energy. Uh, energy cannot ever be destroyed, right? So it's going to go right back to whoever is sending this to you so again be mindful pay attention to that because it will show you people that start to have you know health issues or difficulties that you start hearing about more than likely it has a lot to do because their energy was so heavy on you or because they were sending the evil eye or they were going out of their way to you know do harm to you so anyways like i said it's a very powerful very simplistic spell now in witchcraft in the practice uh using nail clippings is something that is highly used and it's very powerful not only for domination not only for protection but also for purification uh purification spell work so we're going to be using nail clippings of both your hands so if you're like myself and you use nails or get you know acrylic nails or whatever make sure that the next time you go you tell your uh, your nail tech to uh, not dispose of your nail clippings so that you can actually have them and use them for this type of spell work now you're going to need nail clippings of all your fingers from your right and left hand now as you guys can see here we have the nail clippings again like i said you have to use all nail clippings of both your hands what you're also going to be needing is a clear jar so that you can be able to integrate the nail clippings on here as well as the water and the sea salt. The next ingredient is going to be sea salt. It cannot be any other type of uh, salt other than sea salt. It has to be coarse sea salt, okay? And water, any type of water. That is all you're going to be needing, okay? Now, like I said, this is a very powerful uh, spell that serves not only as a defense magic because you are lifting removing whatever's being sent your way um, and it serves as defensive magic because you will hear or find out people that uh, once you do this are not doing so great and the reason is because they were probably sending you negative energy bad juju evil eye or even going out of their way to do spell work it also going to serve as a purification because it will cleanse and remove that junk that you're carrying and it will also serve as a revealing spell why because it will reveal to you so in this process what you do is once the spell is completed the next or the following day what you're going to do is you're going to take the jar this is why you want it clear and you don't want any type of designs on here because you want to make sure to be able to see it. You want to be able to put it in the light and see what it's revealing to you. Of course, if it gets really dark or you start to see certain type of images, then it means that you were being worked on and that it is um, it was more on the darker end. However, it is being removed, okay? You may have to do it a few times before it comes out clear. Um, 
So again, keep that in mind. All right, so like I said, you're gonna need some coarse sea salt and some water. That's all you're going to be needing. So in this process, what you're going to do is you're going to get the nail clippings of your hands, like I said, and you're going to gather the nails on your left hand side. So you're going to put the nail clippings on your left hand side, as you guys can see here. The reason why we do this is because we have a receiving and a giving, uh, a giving and receiving energy on both our hands. As you guys know, the hands as well as the sole of the feet are uh, very powerful for projecting, uh, receiving, etc. energies. So see it as almost like a portal kind of. Um, so that's the reason why we're going to be using our left hand. Why? Because the left hand is closer to the heart. Um, your uh, truest intention here is to remove whatever is being sent your way as well as to reveal. So that's the reason why we're using the left hand. So once you put the nail clippings on your left hand, what you're going to do now is you're going to uh, blow on them a few times um, while setting the intention on the nail clippings. So as an example, it would be something like, I ask my spirits, my ascendant masters, my spirit guides to please assist me in this spell that is about to commence. I ask you uh, that it be the nail clippings, the sea salt and the water's mission to unmask negative enemies known and unknown, known and unknown um, to reveal to me, show me and lift, okay? And then you're going to blow on it a few times. Okay. Why do we blow on it? Because it's our essence. It's our energy. And the nail clippings obviously carry your energy. But you're also commanding what you're doing. So in essence, you are empowering. Okay. So again, I ask my spirit guides. I ask my ascended masters um, to please assist me in this spell work that is about to commence. I ask you to cleanse and to unmask negative enemies known and unknown or unbeknownst to me. Reveal to me. And then you're going to blow on the clippings on your left hand. <laughs> Once you do that, what you're going to do now is with the other hand, with your right hand, you're going to get the water and you're going to pour the water in the jar. I am skipping the cleansing process because hopefully you guys know by now the importance of making sure that you cleanse all of your ingredients and tools that you're using when it comes to spell work, right? <laughs> if you don't know how to do that, go at go to my channel and check out videos that are to cleanse, okay? All right, so once that is done, you're going to drop the nail clippings in the water. Okay, as such, so you could see the nail clippings there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to integrate the coarse sea salt. Okay, and it's going to look something like this. Not sure if you guys can see. Okay, you see the nail clippings and the sea salt. All right, so we want to empower... My Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, I bless and consecrate. Spirit guides, ancestors, and ascended masters, I ask you to please step forward and empower this spell that is about to commence. I ask you to reveal that the mission of the spell is to cleanse and unmask negative enemies known and unknown to me, to reveal to me and show me. All right. Once that is done, what you're going to do is you're going to keep this by your bedside. Uh, if you uh, are able to put it underneath your bed, you're going to leave it there for a whole 24 hours. Um, if you don't, and let's say, for instance, uh, your your mattress is on the floor or something like that, because I do get emails from you guys telling me, you know, what if I don't have like what if my mattress is on the floor? Absolutely. No problem. Just keep the jar right next to the side where you sleep in. 
you're going to leave it there for a whole 24 hours. You're not going to interrupt it. You're not going to touch it. Don't do anything to it. After 24 hours, you're going to remove it. And I want you to take it towards the sun or towards a place that um, has very bright lighting so that you can be able to see the images or the gunk or the negative energies that you're seeing all around. Now, you can leave this in, um, you can leave this undisturbed under your under your bed or on the side of your mattress for up to three days. Um, again, if within 24 hours you take it out and you see it a bit, you know, pretty dark or pretty heavy in the energy, meaning if you see it very discolored or perhaps really, you know, brown water or dark water, you want to uh, flush that out, flush it uh, on your toilet so it can go away from you and away from your home. And you want to do this a few times so that until the water comes out clean, because that means that whatever you're carrying has been completely lifted. Now, ideally, what I do highly encourage you guys to do is not to do it for three days, but to actually do it for 24 hours. Once the 24 hours is up, you're going to take it, like I said, take it out, look at it, put it in light it, or ideally put it by the sun so that you can see the imagery and the things that pick up. And once that is done, you can flush it out, like I said, in the toilet or anywhere that is going to have some type of, some type of stream water that is going to keep it away from your home. Now, once this is done, I want you guys to be very perceptive and keep an eye on those around you that perhaps start to experience difficulties or um, that you may find out that uh, certain people are having you know health issues and stuff like that why do i say keep a watchful eye because sometimes um unfortunately people that we associate with or in our friend group or whatever sometimes some people have you know heavier energy than others and if there is envy or jealousy or some type of competition on a conscious or subconscious level they can be sending that to you and that can be affecting you as well so that could be the reason why you know certain things just don't pan out for you so again just be mindful keep a watch uh, keep a keep an eye on that and um, you're going to see that it starts to remove blockages in your life and you start to experience more of ease everything that you uh, do or everything that you're putting work or effort towards you start to see it actually unfold and no more hiccups no more um you know difficulties in whatever aspect of your life that you're having difficulty with this is an amazing spell to do. Like I said, it's very powerful. It's very, very simplistic, very easy. And um, what was I going to say? Uh, oh, yeah. And I had gotten a DM by one of my followers on my Instagram saying that they felt like people were just sending bad juju to their relationship because they were fighting and bickering. If you're doing this for yourself or for your, you know, your relationship with your partner, etc., instead of just using your nail clippings, you're also going to be needing their nail clippings uh, so that you guys can, as a unit, remove uh, those negative energies and do the lifting, okay? So I want to wish you guys the very best. Try it out. If you guys do, you're going to be blown away. Come back, comment, let others know your experience so that you can encourage them. I want to wish you guys the very best and we'll see each other soon. Till then, bye.